I think another time in my life, I believed a lot more in another idea that um, today I don't believe in. I was looking for the trophy. I was looking for the, the medals, the new contracts. I wanted to be a champion. When it's a real close show, like for instance, you and Phil, you know, could have Kai Green won that show? Yes. Could have Phil won that show? Yes, and he did. You know what, I sat in the front row, man, and you know what, I mean, listen, Phil's, Phil's my guy, you know, I'm a huge fan of Phil Heath, but Phil Heath wasn't his best. I mean, Friday, I mean, he, Kai could have swung enough momentum if he came in there like he says he's gonna every year. Right. You know, I was one of those guys they counted out, and I'm not going to sit there and say it can never be done because in 2009 I came and blew everyone away, and that was eight years after my prime, supposedly, of you know when I won the Olympia. Kai can still do it. There's a certain level of pressure that that comes along with the spotlight that I think can be very easily overwhelming, maddening. Make no mistake about it, it can be a beast. Who should have won? Arnold or Sergio? Can't the people say Arnold? Can't the people say Sergio? To this day, they still complain about it and argue about it. That's just the way it's been from the beginning of time. Kai is a, a very unique character. He's the most entertaining closer, that's for sure. care about who looked good yesterday or who's going to look good tomorrow. It's who looked good that day at that time. Somebody could have said, oh my God, you should have seen him yesterday. Yesterday he looked great. Well, you know what? You're on stage now. We're judging you now. And this is what you look like and this is how you're going to get placed. I mean, there could be a guy that doesn't have the best conditioning, but has the best shape because he wasn't in the best conditioning. He's not going to win. A guy with the best conditioning will win. It depends on what is in front of me that day. You can't say because Bill Heath beat Kai Green that Kai Green's not going to come back next year and beat him. It depends what happens on that stage. Not yesterday, not last year, not what, you know, their projection of what they're going to be like. It's what they're like right then and there. There are pictures where other people you know. are going to look better than other people. Their guy in fifth place maybe has the best back double bicep, mm. and he looks like the winner in the back double bicep. Mm. But what about you put all the other poses yeah. in, in, into consideration? He's not the best bodybuilder. Mm. Is there a story that comes to mind right off the bat that is an example of that? You know, Arnold, this year is a perfect example. You were going to lose. And you came back and you put it together and you won. And that's the best story I could think of in recent times. He's in full control. There's no guessing. There's nothing absolutely in his way of stopping him to become Mr. Olympia besides him deciding, I don't want to do the show. In Kai's mind, he really thinks that he can't beat Phil because Kai's a warrior, and I think if he gets to it, he could beat anybody if he really wants to. If they were to say that at their all-time best and at my all-time best that I don't win, they're, they're out of their mind because I'm already better than them now. I mean, most of these guys have been competing twice as many years as me. They've been in the gym twice as many years, as me, and I'm already better than them. We all know if I show up 100%, it's a wrap. And that's what I'm training for, that's what I'm dieting for, that's what I'm living for, is to be my absolute best. If you run up and you run your mouth, you're gonna get done, period. This has been a long journey just to get to this point. Each day we get a step closer, and with each opportunity, we, we make history. Champ comes, he's off, he will be defeated.
Ty can still do it, man. That, the guy's got an unbelievable physique. Walking in the gym, he is still Mr. Olympia more than any guy I've ever seen. And he just needs to be mentally prepared to win the Mr. Olympia. Because I don't know what's going on in that guy's head, because you're right. How could you sit out when you're in your prime? He's running out of time, man. And you know what? I, I mean that. The fans are waiting, man. Ty Green, the fans are waiting to see what you can bring. Bring it back to the Olympia. That's just that's speaking from a, someone that knows the insides and outs and has been sat out of shows that I should have been in before. Get back on that stage and, and make the fans happy and do yourself a favor and win it. I know who the hell I am. I know every time I get ready for these shows, they've got a lot of say. 